Hello! Welcome to our 2021 Global Youth Day Recap. My name is Ulun. And my name is Mwenyam Pundu. On March 20th, young people from across the globe came together to be the sermon in their communities. That's right! Mwenya and I were here doing four live broadcasts sharing what was going on. What is Global Youth Day? Global Youth Day, or as we may call it, GYD, began in 2013 as an initiative for Youth Ministries Department of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Yes, during that inaugural event, only 12 service projects were organized worldwide. Over the past eight years, GYD has grown by leaps and bounds, touching thousands of young people and producing hundreds of creative, service projects in local communities. And today, we're going to take you on a tour of what happened both inside the studio and in our global divisions during this year's Global Youth Day. Hello, young people. I'm Pastor Gary Blanchard, World Youth Director for the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and this is our General Conference Youth Department team. Yes. Hello! <laughs> and minus Andreas because he is out serving the Lord Jesus as a Navy chaplain, and we're proud of Andreas working with our young people around the world. But young people, we want to welcome you. We want to welcome our children, our youth, our young adults, our public campus ministries, young people. Am I right, Paco? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we also have uh, a lot of young people from One Year in Mission and Mission Caleb. We love you guys. We, we welcome you to Global Youth Day 2000 what? 21. Amen. Amen. Young people, we want to have a quick word of prayer for you. And then, as soon as after our prayer, we're going to hear from Pastor Ted Wilson, who we so much appreciate at the youth department because he loves young people just like you. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we bless this meeting. We pray your blessing upon all of our youth and young adults and youth leaders around the world as they go out and there be the sermon. Amen. 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 Young people, I'm so excited that many of you may be gathered together on site or by electronic connections preparing to go out into your communities to reach out to others in the name of Jesus. I know you are all excited to impact your community today. I can think of a time in the Bible after Peter and John had been released from jail and they gathered with the chief priests and elders in prayer. This prayer is important for you since it asks God to enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness, stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And after they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly, as it's recorded in Acts 4, 29 to 31. Today, as you begin your special Global Youth Day projects, whether they be in person, following public health and safety guidelines, or virtual, do so remembering that you, are to go boldly and act out in God's love for all. As Jesus reached out to that Samaritan woman at the well, as recorded in John 4, he placed himself in a setting where he could touch the heart of the woman and then a whole city was converted. Your great privilege is to be the sermon, allowing the Holy Spirit to place you in a setting where you can share God's love and instruction for a dying world, pointing them to Christ, His righteousness, His three angels' messages, His soon coming. Hearts will be touched and lives will be transformed as you perform these acts of kindness in the name of Jesus. But this can only be possible when we pray earnestly for the Lord to use you and all of us through his power.
As we have said, young people from around the world came together under this year's theme, Cultures, Colors, and Communities, to bring relief, aid, and compassion to their neighbors. First up, we see stories from the Inter-European Division, where young people cooked and passed out food, set out notes of encouragement, and cleaned up a river. We'll also see stories from the Trans-European Region, where young people cleaned up streets, passed out bo books, and handed out food. That sounds so amazing, Monia, but let's not stop right there. In the Euro-Asia Division, young people from Armenia worked with Adra to give out supplies to those in need. Let's see some more. Happy Global EU today, everybody. Uh, this is Pastor Dan Stojkovic from British Union Conference, and this is my amazing team. Well, uh, this is Zara, and this is Stefan. And uh, our mission, actually, well, this is not a Global EU day for us. This is a Global Youth Year for us. We adopted this uh, beautiful alley, uh, which is not very far away from our house, and um, we're just trying to keep it clean because people throw rubbish a lot. So, guys, uh, let's see what happens today.
This project would be impossible without the volunteers. The project is heavy, we carry heavy items, but we don't complain, Vladimir says. Wow, those are some amazing stories. Well, as some of you might know, we didn't leave it all the fun for the young people who went out. We also had fun right here in the studio. That's right, Moenya. You spoke to six influencers who didn't let the COVID-19 pandemic stop them. They used social media to reach out, to share Jesus with their followers. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Um, where are you located? What are you doing right now? Um, what division are you in? Tell me a bit about who you are. Um, my name is Haman Ellen. I am in Kenya right now. I was just finishing up on my chores, so I'm just in the house. <laughs> um, when you started using Facebook to reach out to others, how did that go? How did you introduce Jesus into your platform? Um, to be honest, I started doing my page uh, last March 2020. Um, currently, currently, I'm working and uh, due to the pandemic, uh, my office were, were closed and we're doing work from home. And I decided to, to make a platform, specifically a page in Facebook, our in I entire is Dorelay. Um, when you were thinking about starting that Instagram page, I know it was specifically for um, sharing Jesus and God, but were you nervous about initially starting? Um, were you nervous that people would be like, oh, that's just another person who, who worships Jesus, or maybe they wouldn't take you seriously? How did that start about? Definitely, I was really nervous. Um, so that's why it, my nervousness or my fear is actually why I separated the two. Mm -hmm. So I had uh, a main channel, which was my, my lifestyle channel, so like uh, documenting my journey in medical school, and then kind of seeding in once in a while, like, um, like, ministry type stuff or yeah. things about my faith and then I was so nervous and I was so fearful that I was like people are not going to understand it they're going to reject me so let me um, start a separate you know specific separate channel for my um, ministry or just for sharing the gospel because then people who are only interested in that will come to that so that unfortunately actually did come out of a nervousness or out of the fear uh -huh. um, I've kind of like now gone back to integrate it uh, because I was just like, you know what, this is who I am and I just have to share that. Um, but that is where that came from. It came from a fear and a nervousness that people are going to reject me and what I was sharing. That's why I actually sort of started it separately as two separate accounts kind of thing. Um, can you show us a little bit about how you do your lettering, um, using the theme, reaching out cultures, colors and communities and just talk us through how you do this with other verses and um, things like that. First, I just choose the, the Bible verse or maybe the phrase I, I want to letter. And I start doing like a sketch first and, um, you know, the composition where I'm going to put these words, with which word is more important. Then I start the lettering. I choose the colors. I you know, put shadows and maybe decor with. <laughs> I'm gonna put 60 seconds on the clock and we're gonna let you do a, what you would do for TikTok. So go ahead. Hey, wait, don't scroll, don't scroll. Let me pray for you. What God has given us is a big mission and we need to keep spreading the gospel. And I want you to be, to be really compromised to do a, a mission life. I really loved seeing what our young people are doing. Me too. And we're just getting started. We'll bring you even more amazing stories right after the break.
Welcome back to our 2021 Global Youth Day Recap. We have seen so many exciting things and there's even more to come. That's right. In fact, we're going to go right now to the Southern Asia Division where the youth held health fairs. And the South Pacific Division, they did a mission trip to the Outback. That sounds so fun and inspiring. In the Southern Asia Pacific Division, they passed out literature and held health clinics. And in the Northern Asia Pacific Division, the young people were busy cleaning up the beach. Let's watch some more. We're on the banks of the Darling River, just north of Burke. We've been on a mission trip on our way home from Fink, Central Australia. Our specific goal for this mission trip was to head out to the community of Fink and conduct an evangelistic series. We also were involved in some community service work, so we did some painting of uh, the local church. When we first came, they looked very dull and all grey and stuff, but then we all came together and we made it red and blue. Hello and greetings from Vanuatu. For our Peter Simon program, we visited a Chinese community. One of our group members, he used to do business with those Chinese people. We find that some of these Chinese, they were so happy to welcome us. For the culture part of it, we have visited the Northern District Hospital as uh, our target group for the uh, Peter Simon. Um, we have visited surgical ward and there were uh, six rooms all together that we have uh, visited uh, the people who were this Peter Simon program uh, we begin with a prayer together then we have decided to go in in a group of youth 
we sing, we pray with them, and we found out that there are people who are lonely. We found out that there are people who are in desperate need, which they uh, have sickness or illness that they really need prayer. Watching what young people are doing in their countries around the world is so inspiring. And we're only showing you a small fraction of what they did. That's right. If the people watching want to see even more ways young people went out to be the sermon, they can check out the Youth Ministries Facebook page at facebook.com slash GC Youth Ministries. Yes. But before they do that, I want to share one of my favorite parts of GYD. It was the music during the live programs. We had the Younger Generation Church out in Texas, also the Golden Angels Choir from the Northern Asia Pacific Division, and the Watchmen from Andrews University. That was so amazing, Mwenya. And I was also blessed by the devotional Pastor Kevin Wilson share with us, shared with us about the woman at the well. Check this out. When you are faced with somebody, a different culture, a different person who's doing something that, that, that you, are, who you have not been doing that goes against your beliefs, I want you to choose care over condemnation. Choose care over putting them down. Why? For a few reasons. Because every single person is made in the image of God. Every single person is made in the image of God because God created them. Number two, everybody's doing their best to survive and live according to their own worldviews. You, and number three, this is probably important. Why should you cho choose care over condemnation, even if you know the truth? Everybody is going through a battle that you have no idea about. You are going through battles. You are going through struggles that other people don't know about. So how much more should we lead with compassion? How much more should we lead with care rather than condemnation, rather than putting people down? And we see how this whole thing played out in the end because at the end of the story, the people, the Samaritan people, the people who the Jews hated, begged Jesus to hang out with them for two more days.
in a strange land One more prayer was heard Outside numbered by the Philistine Samson prayed with faith one last prayer to me That was so amazing. I was inspired by the music and message. We're gonna take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. We have even more exciting stories and studio moments coming up for you. Welcome back. We're here sharing some inspiring moments that happened during this year's Global Youth Day. That's right. We're going to turn to the Americas, Inter-America, North America, and South America. Young people from each of these three divisions or regions helped through humanitarian efforts, comforting those in need and showing Jesus to their neighbors. That's right. I can't wait to see the reports. Let's watch. And our young people in the Cayman Islands Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, hashtag GYD21, Global Youth Day 2021. Yes, we're getting ready to go do prayer walks. For hashtag reaching out. They're gonna be covering all of East End this evening, praying for individuals, doing a prayer drive through prayer walks, doing various different activities. We have free clothing available on the right and free food, free health massages, as well as free health checks. Yes, hashtag GYD21. Este día tú puedes aceptar a Cristo Jesús. 
Adventista de Mendoza decimos... ¡Feliz! That was so fun to see. Now, Ulun, we're going to talk a little bit about what happened here in the studio. We got to play Heroes 2. Yes, we did. I got really into it. Heroes 2 was launched on March 25, and so now it's available for download on your Apple and Android devices. But we play in a studio and had a great time. Hello there, young Adventists around the world. Today, I would like to challenge you to be a hero in our world. That's right, I'm summoning you to be a hero in our time, just as the Bible characters were too. Recent reports reveal that more than 3 billion people play video games. That's right, gamers. 3 billion people, more than. Now, just to compare, there are 2.3 billion Christians in the world. Yes, there are more gamers than people following Jesus on our planet. Now, before returning to heaven, Jesus gave us a mission. He said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. That's what, how Mark puts it. Now, I'm pretty sure that all creation and therefore all peoples includes gamers. We have in front of us a unique opportunity to talk about the greatest hero of all time in a language that gamers understand. We have worked with an international team to develop Heroes 2 a new Bible trivia game that I am sure you will enjoy. Most importantly, you all learn about the Bible while playing. In this game, you will answer questions about Bible heroes. And the more experience points you, you collect, the more you unlock new heroes, like Noah, Joseph, Jesus, Ruth, John. These are just a few of the 12 heroes who will challenge you. The game will be available on March 25 in English, Spanish, Portuguese, and French, and very soon, more languages. More than 10 languages, in fact, by the end of this year. In fact, you can help to translate it into your language, too. The website is heroesbibletrivia.org. That's the website. And we're going to play here together. I brought my son, James. <laughs> so James has been in probably every Global Youth Day that I've taken part. We can follow history through his through his interactions here. And we are gonna play with Caleb and Yulun, right? We're, yes. we're going to try and, and get this done. So Heroes is a uh, Hope Channel game. You can come here this side, James, so we can look at the screen. And we're gonna try and play this game. I'm even gonna put the soundtrack on. Look at that. Ooh. Love it, can love you it. Hear wow. it. Yes, okay, so. Love the music. Fantastic. Let's go check it out. You start with Adam and Eve, right? Yeah. And then you can go to Noah and Joseph, Moses, Ruth, Samson looks like a monster. He does. Yeah. David, don't mess with him. Boy. Daniel, you can see the, yeah. <laughs> the vegetables worked up for him. <laughs> yeah. Elegance. Esther. The queen. And Jesus. Jesus. And Mary. Mary. And John. Wow, John. All right, John is the son of thunder. All right, so let's go. This is Noah. What was the ark made out of? Wood. Wood. Wood, let's plastic wood. bricks. I think it's wood. Wood. That's yes. it. Well done. Okay. What did my mother in law suggest I do regarding Boaz? Marry him, spy on him, treat him like a father, avoid him. Spy on him. Wait. Spy. Oh, Mary, Mary. Spy on him? Mary. Really? Spy Mary. on him? Mary. 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 Yes. Mary. 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 Why did God put us in Eden? We were excellent gardeners to wreck it, to take care of it, uh, so we would be happy. To take care, take care of, of it, it, I think. Yeah, to or take to take care yeah, of it. Something. Yes. Let's yes. go. All right, guys, we're doing well. Moses, what was my basket made of? Papyrus. Tweed, papyrus, papyrus tar, straw. Papyrus. Papyrus? papyrus. Right, let's go, papyrus. James, James knows that one. Yeah. yeah. Good job, James. Where was the first place I ran to when the king was trying to kill me? Egypt, Bethlehem, Rama, or Judah? Rama or Judah? Now, we have three questions to go, and we have the Jesus effect we can use. Let's use it. Shall we use it? Yeah. Let's use it. All right, use Jesus it. effect takes away your wrongs, and it shows you the way. Ah. Rama. 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 It was. Now, remember that for next time. Yeah. And that's Rama. the point. The more you play the game, the more you remember. When oh. I healed the centurion servant, what did I say to him? You have great faith? Yep, or? I think so. Yeah, you have... Great faith. You have great faith, because you probably wouldn't say anything bad about him. <laughs> yeah. Ta-da! 
Game, Game completed. complete. Well done, guys. We did very well. Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Now, of course, I can challenge somebody with this. So please challenge him. Find out or, you know, challenge your youth leader, challenge him, her, any, whoever you need to mm -hmm. so that you can get to know the biblical narrative. And this will transform your life. If you would like to learn more about heroes, make sure to visit heroesbibletrivia.org to learn more. We'll be right back after the break with our final round of activities from around the world and the theme for next year's Global Youth Day. Welcome back. This is our final block, and we're so excited to share more with you of what's happening around the world. Yes, and right now we have some amazing stories from the West Africa Division and the East Central Africa Division, where they really show us what it means to be the hands and feet of Jesus. That's right. And in the Middle East and North Africa Union, young people gave information about staying safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. And finally, the Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division, they really impacted their communities. And now we take you on a tour through the 22 countries of West Central Africa Division, where the young people are poised to be the salmon. The mission is clear, the zeal unstoppable, and the goal is achieved. See the young people distributing face masks to mitigate the COVID-19 challenges. See them distributing the 2021 Missionary Book of the Year titled Hope for Troubled Times. See them as ambassadors of health, educating people on how to stay safe from the COVID-19. And here they go spreading, reaching out to orphans, the aged, widows, and they also remember the refugees, the homeless, and the internally displaced people. See them providing food for hungry people. Watch them serving their communities in acts of love. See them in action cleaning the streets and just see them in action for Jesus Christ. Central Africa Division is joining the rest of the world to celebrate the Global Youth Day 2021 
stay tuned and watch the East Central Africa Adventurers, Pathfinders, Ambassadors, Young Adults and Public Campus Ministry students sharing God's love in action, having fun in Jesus' name and truly being a summon. It's my joy now to bring to you Sister Melanie Osuri, who will take us through this report. Welcome and enjoy. Thank you so much, Pastor Mwaka Longe. Global Youth Day is here with us again, 2021. And the young people from the East and Central Africa Division have joined the rest of the world in climaxing, reaching out is the theme for this year. And I tell you, this report is packed with young people, even not so young, but still young in heart, going on the streets, into the prison houses, visiting with the sick. That's as Jesus has called us to do from his word. Thank you so much for joining us. And I want to introduce us to East and Central Africa Division. It is a division with 11 countries. Yes, 11 countries. Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, South Sudan. We have Rwanda and Burundi. We even have Somalia within the division uh, territory and even Eritrea and Djibouti. All these have packed with young people. Now, let's uh, tune in and see what the Kenyans, the young adults, the pathfinders, the ambassadors, and even the adventurers have been up to on this global this day. Twenty twenty 2020 and 2021 have been challenging years due to COVID-19, yet young people in the Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division have continued to find ways to reach out to their communities by meeting their felt needs. Southwestern Angola Union young people participated in the GID 2021 by cleaning the streets and also saving lives through blood donation. Having the word of God, they become a blessing to us. In Botswana, the young people reached out to a rural district which is about 1,000 kilometers away from capital city, Haberon. With the pandemic, there are people who lost their jobs and some had minimum to none income, which resulted in issues when it came to food in their households. We went to various places and there we were distributing food parcels to hundreds of people. Youth leaders reflected on the past GID activities while sharing also upcoming outreach plans. The young people in this conference have resolved to assist those who are in need within the church and in the community with special attention to the orphans. When we had the theme of last year, which is I Care, we identified an orphanage called Home of Happiness. This is an orphanage where we find different people, different children with different disabilities. The work that is being done here is the work of God. And these students that you are seeing, they are creation of God. The recipients were encouraged to place their hope in Christ when they go through difficult situations. In Zimbabwe, the youth in the East Zimbabwe Conference chose to revisit Kudakwashe Children's Home, a project they adopted in 2019. Among other projects, the young people in this part of the country are working on turning Kudakwashe into a center of influence. As such, we are reaching out to Kudakwashe until it becomes a center of influence in this locality. 
Currently, we are building a three-winged, 10-room dormitory house for the kids. Welcome to PCM Algeria, Constantine. And uh, with me here are my friends Tapiwa and Tlelego. <laughs> so what we are going to do today is that uh, we are going to make a positive change in our community. And what we have decided is that we are going to distribute masks, face masks and some sanitizers and also pens to students who are having their exams. Well, that just about wraps it up for us. But didn't we say something about sharing the theme for next year's Global Youth Day? Yes, we did. Let's have the Youth Ministries Department for the Adventist World Church do that. Let's kick it over to them. Pastor Paco, right now they're telling us that we've had thousands and thousands of young people engaged. Right now there's about 35,000 young people engaged in this program. What would you say to them really got you excited about Global Youth Day? Well, uh, I will say that um, Global Youth Day is over, but kindness is not over. Mm. Amen. Love is not over. Reaching out yeah. is not over. So continue to be the same one. So we would like to see uh, these hashtags uh, running throughout the year. Come um, uh, April, come March, come September, come December, we want to see that hashtag, you know, being used and showcasing what you are doing to extend the horizons of God's kingdom. I, I saw a post mm -hmm. in Belize Ooh. of young people in the streets wow. uh, just uh, making it happen through <laughs> literature and yeah. distribution of, of, of food. And I saw something in uh, uh, Romania, mm. yes. you know, yes. where they're giving out food packages, but they started building a house, you know, some time oh, ago. Wow. Yeah. And now on Global Youth Day, mm. you know, they're just saying, hey, this is it. This is the love of Jesus. Wow. This is what we're talking about, where your life is just impacting people. But the one thing that got me, Gary, mm. New York. <laughs> Come on, New York. <laughs> New York had, you know, prepared a place where people get tested. Mm for COVID-19. We're sending them yep. as <laughs> arrows yeah. yep. yeah. to the front line. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And they are meeting this battle head on. And they're saying, we're going to step up and we're going to be here and we're going to do something for the Lord. So kudos to the young people today. I am just touched by amen. what I saw. <laughs> amen, amen. And also, I just want to say right after you said it, Paco, we've noticed so many public campus ministry students going out there. That's today. it. Yeah. That's and it. you guys know public campus ministry students out there right now, you know you have three pillars, right? What are the church, community, and what else? Uh, campuses. Campus. Campus. So by going out into the community, you were fulfilling one of the pillars yes. of public campus ministry. So that, that was really exciting to see Thank that as well. Thank, yes. you. Thank you. Pastor Abner, how about you, boss? What, what really moved you? I have enjoyed all that I have been hearing and looking uh, how young people has been moving around the world, sharing what they have, mm -hmm. sharing God's love with others. And I really uh, feel that the Holy Spirit is moving throughout Amen. the world, uh, touching our young people's hearts, and they are answering His appeal. 
and they are doing, uh, doing what is in their hands. Uh, they are being creatives, they are being, being innovatives, and then they are also uh, trying to reach people where they are doing uh, what is in, in their hands. I saw those uh, uh, in, in Chiapas, Mexico, my, my, my country, uh, calling people that are facing challenges in their lives, and that's, that's some, really something good. And I, I enjoy how, how people in Kansas were sharing true. P p uh, food Kansas. with thousands and thousands and thousands of yeah. people. Uh, really, there are a lot of need in, the, in this world. Yes. And yeah. we are Jesus' food, we are Jesus' hands, yes. we are, but we are also Jesus' uh, mouth to, mm. to, to speak, to, to tell on. others what the Lord has done for, with us. Yeah. And also to share the hope we have. Come on. Because we are waiting to see Jesus coming Amen. soon. Mm -hmm. Jesus is coming soon. Everyone needs to know that. Yes. And we should do it, not just talking, but showing right. God's love in, right. our, uh, in our actions. Yeah. I love that. Wow. Amen. Yeah. I love my boss. I think we all love our <laughs> boss here. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Abner, very much. And, you know, we want you to know, young people, and you've heard it over and over again, that GYD is a lifestyle. Right. It's every day of your life. This is a springboard for how you're to live your life. So now, I know what you guys are waiting for. I know what you're wondering. What is going to be the theme next year? Mm. Yes. Ah, I hate to leave this one. This was such a great theme. <laughs> but we, don't, we never want to leave this theme, do we? Yeah, yeah no. Reaching out no. to colors, cultures, and communities will be a hallmark forever for all yes. of us. So guys, on the count of three, we're going to shout out what the next theme is for next okay. year. Are you guys ready for this one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. One, two, three. Mm. Loving, Loving the, the Forgotten. forgotten. Yay. Wow. <laughs> Loving the Forgotten, if you didn't catch that. Yes. Um, some of you are thinking immediately, who's the Forgotten? Mm -hmm. Well, we have some suggestions for you, but you have to decide that in your local conference, in local church, and division. Yes. But we know that there are many people in nursing homes, mm -hmm. and elderly, that, that are loved by Jesus that are often forgotten, right? Yes. We know that there's people in the prisons that are right. often forgotten that we don't care about, or we care about, we're just so busy in our lives. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, we have missing members. We have members that used to be there in our churches on Sabbath, but they're no longer there. We need to go out and reach those special people. And most of all, we want to thank Jesus at the well. Amen. He's the one that taught us how to reach different cultures, colors, and communities, didn't he? And you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to do something really strange. We're going to put on masks so we don't get in trouble. But we're going to invite everybody who's backstage to come up here so you can see all these wonderful, beautiful people that made this happen. So come on up here, guys. We want to have a prayer for you. And then we're going to say the theme one big time. So everybody, come on up here. Don't be shy. Come on up here, guys. Cameraman, everybody. <laughs> well. <laughs> come on, come on, let's go. Come on in, come on in. Join in, guys. They're shy, they're shy. Come on, here, here they come, here they come. Yeah, they're coming. Yes. <laughs> There's a reason why they work behind scenes. They don't like being up front, come, 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 come. but we're going to really, we want you to know how special they are to, to us. Yeah, Our tech guys are coming up here. Uh, what a blessing. To have them. One more time, guys. We love you. Great. Thank you for your help. Thank you, guys. We want to have a special prayer for them right now, and then we're going to say our, our theme, okay? okay? And farewell to all of you. <laughs> let's, let's pray. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, oh God, we're so excited. Our hearts are full as we've seen you working mightily through your people. What, what an amazing mystery that we can become your hands, feet, and heart in this mm -hmm. world. What a blessing. And now, Father, uh, you have sent us on a new mission this year, and that is to love the forgotten, to go and love those who you hold very valuable but are often overlooked. And we pray that you would help us to do that in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 On the Amen. count of three, loving the forgotten. One, two, three. Loving, loving the, the forgotten. forgotten. God bless you, everybody. Bye-bye.